Hey folks, welcome to another Expectation with your buddy Baldwin here. This day I'm going to be doing the movie coming out by M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong, After Earth, originally titled, titled 1000 AE, as in the whole idea that they've been on Nova Prime for a thousand years after they left Earth. So, I'm going to break this down real simple for you. It's an M. Night Shyamalan film. The last one, the last one he even like mentioned his name in was the Devil. Was well, Devil, sorry. And that was a really good, really good film. I really enjoyed it. The twist was actually not too bad. It wasn't shitty. It wasn't Village. Um, a lot of people hate Lady in the Water. They can go kiss my ass. Thought it was a great movie. Love Paul Giamatti. That's my ramp off the rant off the stop uh soapbox. Movie starring Will and Jane Smith. Um, everybody loves Will Smith. Uh, I don't think there's been a lot of bad movies that he's been in. There's been a few, but nothing that has really damaged his career. He's a very solid, um, willing-to-do-anything actor. I mean, Men in Black 3 was brilliant. Way better than Men in Black 2. Um, and then his son, Jaden Smith, who will eventually be coming out with the next couple of Karate Kids. That Those have been marked like the Avatars for, I don't know how many years now. But I enjoyed the, uh... I enjoyed it just because Jackie Chan kicks ass. Whenever Jackie Chan does kung fu, I get a little hard in the pants. I'm sorry, I just gotta admit it. So, but I'm not really gonna do much of a synopsis. Uh, the planet Earth has been just barren wasteland for so long. Just imagine uh, Wally, but shittier. Has been overrun by huge evolved creatures. Uh, everybody who was on Earth, they left in these arcs. The arcs, there were supposed to be ten. Six of them only got completed, so. Like, billions upon billions of people died, left, came to this new planet called Nova Prime. I tried to read research a little bit into it, as we all know, Nova is the beginning of something, and Prime is the first of something, or and uh, uh, the adjective, the noun of uh, strength. So, it's like the first strength, it's the first hold. Uh, these people have been living on this Nova Prime for a thousand years now, and they've had to fight off... Uh, alien civilizations and the harshness of the terrain. Um, Will Smith's character, Cypher Rage, is uh, a part of this group called the Ranger Corps. He's actually one of the uh, top elite men because the aliens that they are fighting against had this uh, enemy that could smell fear. So kind of imagine Green Lantern. <clears throat> they could smell fear and Will Smith was able to control his fear. And Katai Rage, whose son, played by Jane Smith, is kind of like a douchebag. He's kind of like a Captain Kirk-esque character, but not as cool. Where he's, you know, they... For some reason, they leave they leave Nova Prime, him and his son, and they travel to Earth for some reason. I don't know why. They, they, those The reason has just been obliterated like I've searched for it and I think that might be the twist that might be the true twist like they never left earth I mean there's been a bunch of plot theories and twists thrown out there I mean the first one that I came up with was that they were the aliens that reached earth first and then I kind of uh, I read more into it and realized that that's not a plausible theory just because of the light the plant and animal life that's on there <coughs> Um, but, you know, so anyways, so they create this, uh, alien that, uh, can smell fear, cypher rage, can control his fear, his son can't, he's a reckless, loose cannon, so they decide to go on this trip, well, as we have all seen the thousands of previews that, that they've shown, the ship crashes, uh, the dad is mortally wounded, and, however, it gets healed, so he's sitting there and just enjoying his life while telling his son to do everything for him. And I think that's another twist. I'm just going to throw this out one. This one, this one's riddled with plot theories. Um, that his dad's been dead, and he's been able to control it the whole time. Or his dad's reliving his old dreams. I mean, that's the problem with the Shyamalama Ding Dong film, is that you don't even care about the plot anymore. Like, honestly, I've just kind of been like, what the fuck is the twist of this movie? I don't even care. Unlike Bioshock Infinite, I don't care about the story of this one. Because it's that whole, you need to face your fears movie. And I hate that danger is real, fear is a choice thing. It's like, ah, uh, I don't know. You can control your fear pretty well. I don't think fear is a choice. I don't give a shit how far into the future you are. But, I, I, you know, I just, I don't, I don't like this film. But I'm interested as fuck. That's what I really hate. Is that, that's what M. Night Shyamalan has become. 
because it started out in his career with Unbreakable and Sixth Sense. Great movies, great stories. Bruce Willis and Samuel Jackson and the little kid who plays Sora who's now like 36 <clears throat> and still plays Sora in Kingdom Hearts. You know, that solid, great movies. And then they just got less and less. And then Signs came out. I mean, Signs had a great story and then shitty twist. And then that's what happened. It just, it finally hit that. With Lady in the Water, there wasn't much of a twist. Uh, but the story was great. And now you have this, After Earth. I mean, it's literally been 15 years since, well, not 15, but close to, you know, M. Night Shyamalan's last good film. And everybody just kind of, I'm even just pondering. It's like, what's the twist going to be? I don't know. But that's all I care about. I don't I don't see much of this having story. Like, I already know what happens to the planet. I mean, fuck, if you go on any website for this movie, they'll tell you what happens to Earth and the aliens they have to fight on the planet that they live in. And there's not much. I mean, that's that's the problem with, like, Star Trek Into Darkness. We don't know Dick. We know that Captain Kirk's being Captain Kirk, and he's being a young, loose cannon Captain Kirk. That's it. We haven't learned anything. We don't know anything. With After Earth, we know fucking everything. I pretty much know everything but the twist. So, I'm not going to run you on much longer, folks, but I'm just saying, for this movie, I'd be wary. If you're a huge, diehard M. Night Shyamalan, a Ding Dong film fan, and you love, I mean, you really gotta love Will Smith for this movie, um, I'd go see it. I might see it, but I'm really hinging on the idea of just waiting until it comes out on DVD. This is, uh, it's coming out May 31st, and I, I did the other two about The Purge, and now you see me, and there's probably a couple other films coming out that weekend, or fuck, go see Iron Man 3, but this film, I think you can wait on. And I think, you know, unless M. Night Shyamalan just comes out with a regular freaking film. That's what he needs. It's just a regular film. No plot twist. No crazy events. Just a regular scary-ass film. Come out with another Sixth Sense. If he can, if this movie proves to be another Sixth Sense, I'll, I'll love it to death. I'll, you know, I'll kiss my own ass. I really will. I'll eat the shit that I've been spewing out at you folks. But I don't think it is. I'm just saying it right now. Maybe my ideas will change if they release any more, but I'm doubting it highly. So I'm going to give it to you folks. It's up to you. After Earth, coming out May 31st by M. Night Shyamalan. This has been your buddy Baldwin with an expectation. I hope you all enjoy your week, and go fuck yourselves. Bye.